greet them. May gusto ka bang sabihin sa iyong mga supporters? Hello everybody, thank you for coming. Hello to you, candidate number one. Now this is not yet your question because you'll be picking from the envelopes I have here with me. Just a simple question. How does it feel to be the show starter of this competition? You're number one. You always have to be ready because you're the first one out. So how does it feel like for you? I am carrying all the pressure. Well, you're carrying it well. Good luck to you. We now pick your question and please hand it over to Kit. Are you ready for your question? Yes. Okay. Your question for tonight is, what part of your home municipality is worth sharing to us? Good evening to each and everyone. As a proud Gadudnan where nature and culture create new adventures, the place that I want to share to everyone is the Busiawan Falls. Because this falls is not just a falls, it is like a, it is not just a falls because it gives you the feeling of home. The water is cold and even though it is far, the adventure is there. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number one. Thank Makes you. me want to visit that certain or that yes. particular falls. falls. Already on my bucket list. Yes, I did. Now let's move on to candidate number two. Hello, candidate number two. I love her personality. She was like, hello, I love the confidence. Hello, candidate number two. How are you feeling tonight? Excited, and it would be a lie if I said I wasn't scared. Well, it pays to be honest, so good luck to you, candidate number two. We now pick your question. All right. And your question is... Your question for tonight is... What attributes do you think you possess that makes you deserving of the title Miss Zanorte 2024? Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. I think the attribute that I have that makes me deserving of this title is my the word hunger for a challenge hunger for change because as someone who wants to be a leader as someone who wants to start change it begins with you and if you cannot face that fear that want for change head on then i don't think there really can be change so what i'm trying to say here tonight is everyone in this crowd behind me the girls they want to make the difference. But I think something that I have that stands out is I actually start the difference within myself and within my community through advocacy, through programs, through action. Thank you very much. Once again, that's candidate number two, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for that. I like that she mentioned that yes. she started the change with herself. Hello to you, the queen from the Piedmont City! Number three, wow! What an explosive audience and fans. Now, good evening to you, my young Gabini. And do you have any message to them before you answer the question? Thank you for coming and joining my journey here. And I am grateful that you are here tonight. <laughs> Good luck to you, candidate number three. Please pick a question and give it to me so I can read it to you. Miss Tapitan City, what's the usual first impression people have on you? The usual first impression that people have on me is that I don't care about people. I am a snob person. But when when you learn to love me and to know me, you will see deep inside my heart that I care for the people I love. And I care for their future. And that I am someone who encourages them to be 
the better version of themselves. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, Papita City. I'm sure your mark can be felt by your fellow Tapiteños. And so we have here candidate number four. Hello to you. Oh my god, you didn't tell me that you brought the band over here. Do you have any words for them and message? Are those your family and friends? Yes, um, they are my family. They are my Sibugo family. And of course, my parents. I love you guys. Thank you. Now, are you ready for your question? You may now pick your question and I'll read it to you. Good luck to you, candidate number four. All right. May I ask for your first name, please? I am Miriam. Miriam, all right. Miriam, what word or words best describes you? So I think the word that best describes me is resilient because I've been through a lot in my life. I started from humble beginnings. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, but I managed to bring myself up, up especially with the help of God, parents and my dedication and I really wanted to become an inspiration to everyone around me that no matter where we came from when we know we have something when we know that we have somewhere to go to let us help each other and be inspiration especially to those people who felt that they are from below thank you number four you know, kid, at this point of the competition, I feel like the judges are going to have a hard time. It looks like they're having a hard time. That's why let's call our next candidate, candidate number five. Hello to you, candidate number five. Hi. Candidate number five, I just want to ask you, how does it feel to be part of the candidates of Miss Zanorte? I am very elated because this is my first provincial pageant. Good luck to you, first provincial pageant, and you're already doing good. So, good luck to you. You can now pick your question and give it to Kit. Good luck to you, candidate number five. Okay, the question is a little bit short. What are you most thankful for? Thank you for the question. I am most thankful of my mother. My mother has been always there for us ever since we were young. We are not a complete family because my father is working far away, but my mother has been supporting us ever since. And I am very thankful for that. I love my mother. I love you. There you have it. I love that Thank answer. Candidate number five, ladies and gentlemen. We have the same answer, actually. You're very I'm thankful. most thankful of my mom as well. How about you? Yes, of course. But of course, my dad will be jealous. So I'm most thankful for my parents. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hello to you, candidate number six. How are you feeling tonight? You're all smiles. Are you happy? Of course, it is a privilege to be here in front of you today and to proudly represent my municipality, my hometown, which is the Sindangan. Sindangan! Wow, the home of our the Miss Philippines Air. Alright, Miss Sindangan, kindly pick your question and we'll read it to you. Good luck. Okay, your question for tonight is, What's your most favorite out-of-school activity? My favorite out-of-school activity is watching sunsets. Whenever I am already done studying and I am so much pressured in life, especially in preparing Miss Zanorte 2024, I just walk to the Boulevard in our town and just feel the sunsets and reminds me how life is really beautiful And it keeps me going in life because the sunset a day makes me all miss makes me go all throughout along the way So you better watch sunsets because it is so relaxing. Thank you Thank you so much. Candidate number six. I've heard. That's 
sunsets and the boulevard is the best view someone did ask me. Yeah, and I hope we get to run yeah, for the boulevard. Yeah, we'll go back here for sure. I'm claiming that. And now let's move on to candidate number seven. We're halfway through the competition and it's getting hotter and hotter. Hello, candidate number seven. I love your face. You kind of look like Miss Emma Tiglao. She really does. Yeah, well, oh but she God. smiles. Anyway, hello to you, candidate number seven. So I'd like to know, how prepared are you? From scale of well, 1 to 10, how prepared are you for this competition? 11. 11! Woo! We love a confident queen. I always love a confident queen. Now, candidate number 7, of course your answer is going to be yes, but I'd like to hear it from you. Are you ready for your question? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Alright, candidate number 7, please speak your question and I'll read it to you. Okay, candidate number seven, very timely. What sets you apart from the other candidates? Thank you so much. What sets me apart from the other candidates is my purpose. Because I see pageants more than just the facade. I see pageants not just about beauty, glamour, and walking around on stage, but I see pageants more in service to the community and making a difference. Thank you so much. These experiences widen my social horizon and understanding of people. These experiences helped me with my personal growth in a way that I was able to rule over my doubts, my insecurities, and the things that are holding me back. And I do not think that that's the best part that sets me apart from the other candidates, my purpose, and my vision when it comes to pageantry. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number seven. That's an 11 out of 10 answer. I love that she lived up to her confidence. Yeah. I am a confident, intelligent queen, and I love to hear, to hear another thought from another fellow of our candidate. We have here candidate number eight. Good yes. evening, candidate number eight, Maya Gabi. All right. Now, you tend to have a lot of fans over here. Do you have any short message to them or anything you want to say to them before you answer the question? First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for being able to stand here tonight. It is such an honor and privilege. And the second, I want to thank all of my supporters here tonight, all the way from Eloy. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you very much. And you have your supporters over there. Good luck to you, candidate number eight. Please speak your question. I'll read it to you. All right, the first question. All right, the question candidate number eight is, actually not a question, but candidate number eight, can you tell us about your greatest accomplishment so far? Well, it's actually a heartwarming story. Last year, I was actually right there sitting one of the audiences hoping that one day I would be able to stand in this very stage. And tonight, it is my greatest accomplishment to really have this opportunity to let everybody know me and to let my experiences be known to everybody. I have come from a humble experience. I worked hard to be able to stand here tonight. I worked harder tonight to let everybody know that I am not just standing here just because of the prize or just because of the crown. I am here with a purpose. I am here to tell everyone my story. And that is my greatest achievement and accomplishment in life. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number eight. You know what makes me so happy, kid? Every candidate has been giving the best answers to the questions so far. It's I cannot sure ask is. for anything more. And so I'd love to hear the best answer this yeah. time for candidate number nine. Hello, candidate number nine. Good evening. Hello, candidate number nine. And welcome to the preliminary question and answer portion. Did you prepare or how much did you prepare for this moment? Do you have a pageant Q&A coach or what? Tell me about it. Of first and foremost, I want to say thank you to all of you, and it's such an honor to be here facing all of you, a beautiful people. Thank you, and I prepare so much more with my body and my knowledge. 
so that I can face you more confidently and beautiful. Thank you. Well, you know what they say, you know, people who work hard are the most confident. Are you ready for the question? Ready for well, the let's question. Do this. Let's do this. Please pick a question and give it to Kit so that he can read it to you. Your question for tonight is, tell us something in your handbag that makes it impossible for you to get rid of. Thank you for that very challenging question. Well, something in my pad that I cannot live without is my cell phone because my cell phone is a call for emergency and it is for me to know what is happening around me and what is happening to my family and also to update my family that I am here in Mizunorte to 